Dance is an art form that is beautiful and the, the body is the instrument and the canvas is space. Everybody can dance and I love the idea that anybody, anyone can dance. Dance expresses emotion, dance can tell a story, and it's usually with anybody, no matter what, dance can happen. So one strategy that you can do in dance is to set something that's already a basic step. Um, that they'll already have. Can we all take this big circle? So I'm gonna step right and right and right and right and reverse, go to left, left. With this one in particular, I gave them four steps to the right, four steps to the left, and then we all came in to the circle. And this way, two, three, four, coming in, and back, two, three, four, and four, two, Three, four, and back, six, seven, eight. So I would give them set steps, um, and then I would take one thing out where they could just do their own creative mo motion. Go forward, back, and out, and left, and anything you want to do for two counts of eight. Five, two, three, four, go back, and ready to go to the right. Right. Some of them were very creative, and it still gives them a little bit of a limitation or a boundary is set, and yet they're still able to just boogie on their own. Other way. Hey, no stepping on feet. And forward, four, and boogie down. Making certain that you have a repetitive motion is very helpful to your students. And depending on the spectrum of their disability, uh, you'll want to work with them and to try to see what kind of dance strategy would work effectively for them. But making certain that you go back to a routine, they'll feel so comfortable with them. Be okay with them stepping aside and saying, I don't want to participate today. Because the next day, they might have been able to kind of see it and watch it, and then process that a little bit, and then return and come back and be able to, and be willing to do it and even try that free two counts of eight. Sometimes we all also talk when we do improvisation. We always say, okay, you do something, you have to react to the other person. If I push, then the other person has to pull. If I pull away, then maybe the other person pulls away, but what's, what's the actual reaction to your partner? Some of the things that we would do is use a scarf or some, some type of physical object, a prop of some sort, and then have them actually mo motion and move with you. All right, here we go, ready? Everybody follow me. Here we go. It can be beautiful, and sometimes you have to go very slowly. Specifically for someone with a disability, um, you would want to do it uh, repeated over and over again, the same motion. Because you're focusing so much on the movement as opposed to the individual, it doesn't matter who the individual is that's up there. You have some connection or bond to that person because you're following what they're doing. It's a good sense of security that they have when they can branch out a little bit and uh, explore in a safe environment. And three, and fall like the scarf. So one of the exercises that we love to do with our students, and I think it brings the most creativity, you know, the creative juices are really flowing, uh, is that we add some obstacles into the room. And somehow they have to cross from the, you know, to the front to the back. Making their own shapes, um, jumping over obstacles. 
and this is what they choose to do with hula hoops and goalies and garbage cans. It's a very freeing expression for the students and they get to choose their own pathways and um, what they do with each obstacle. One way that you could modify the space would be to have them have a partner and the partner maybe goes through it and they actually have a set plan and a routine that they go through prior to them getting across the floor. Job. Trying to express emotion through dance, uh, sometimes we want to make certain that our students understand that there may be a different tempo related to emotions. Here we go, ready? And happy. Walking or doing anything. Moving happy. And freeze. So we will go through a couple of the emotions before we try to split them up so that they can have a sense and an idea. Oh, look, that's what that person thinks is angry and this is what this person thinks is angry. Huh. Walk with a beat and walk and huh. And maybe we talked about exaggerating it and changing it from a different level. Huh. 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 And freeze, good, 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 good. Sad, ready, here we go, and Good for you. So then in splitting them up, they get to choose their emotions. We would give them an adequate time to kind of express their, themselves and then um, divide them into groups and say, now I want you to work with these people to see what you come up with, to tell a story or to express an emotion or to show us a, an action or a reaction to a different um, person or object or animal. Happy? He came was mad and he was sad. Lady was sad. And she was sad, very nice. So in dance, we like to interpret. There's a lot of interpretation that's involved. Uh, we try to show through our bodies um, the motion and movement of, of things that are familiar to us. This time, guys, we're gonna do a science to science project. Uh -oh. So I need some spaghetti and I need some water. Me. With the students, I would like to try to see if we could talk to them about something as easy as cooking up a pot of spaghetti. Now how <laughs> How does spaghetti? How does the spaghetti start? Like this. No, 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 like this. Oh, awesome. Okay, it's stiff as a board, really strong and stiff, right? So we would start with a big, huge bowl of water. So you're the water. So everybody find a shape of water. What would water feel like? Shape. <gasps> nice shape. Hey, now all of a sudden the heat starts to go. Whoa. And maybe I start to shake a little bit because I'm getting hotter. Whoa. And I'm starting to move a little bit. Right? And, then you and I'm boil. starting to maybe boil. And we boil and boil and boil. <laughs> the spaghetti is stiff as a board before they come in and then they jump into the pot. Okay, here we go, ready? And here we go, ladies. And then their matter changes as well. And you see that change of the bending and the slight uh, giving to sway to the boiling water. And I'm gonna start to bend. And then to end it, we would just have the spaghetti finally gets loose like spaghetti, and then the water um, jumps out after. So we're gonna serve the spaghetti. And all the water's out! Come in! Um, all of those things are critical for, for making certain that our students understand patterns, outlines, um, steps. is a beautiful art form and it's something that I think um, sometimes doesn't get used as much as it should be in the schools. Children have the most amazing creative energy. They have imagination, they're willing to do it 
and so why not put that to use? It's a way for students to express themselves. It's a way of them to, for them to get rid of their crazy energy because they are so excited to do it. It can express emotion and it can tell a story. And I love that about dance. Have a great yeah, last of the day. Goodbye. See you later. Crazy!